Hey, this is Dave at Richter Scale Studios. Uh, the CR-10 is up and running. I've been running some test prints with it. I uh, actually even did some ABS. I just did that uh, little plug hole I made for the um, powering of the uh, Raspberry Pi with that step-down uh, module from 12 volt to 5 volts. I have been probably having problems still with uh, PLA, and I believe it might be the Petsfang. This is the version 1. I haven't tried the version 2, but there's a lot of air comes out of this thing, and... I have a feeling that it's cooling down the nozzle way too much and causing uh, heat brake clogs and a lot of uh, clicking over on the um, extruder, I believe. Yeah, that's extruder, then hot end. I'm trying to remember all this is because direct drives are different than this, than the Bowdens. So I'm going to actually uh, be back in a second and show you. I'm going to do the Fang version 2 with a 40 millimeter fan. Also, I. On the CR10, uh, maybe the way to design the hot end is uh, instead of a V6, like uh, my two other machines have a V5 with the AnyCubic, and then the uh, uh, Prusa MK3 is a V6, and it handles um, any kind of um, filament with no problem, no clicking, no uh, anything like that. And the CR10 does, and this thing's been modded so much, and it, it's just getting uh, not worse, but. Uh, it this it's very slow compared to the other ones. So if you start speeding up the uh, the uh, um, the feed rate of this thing, not the feed rate, but this is the speed of it. Uh, it starts clicking and uh, getting under extrusion because it's starting to clog. And I've had two clogs to clean out, and I've changed uh, the heat block to a little better one. Uh, the heat cartridge is fine. Uh, my temperatures are awesome on this thing. Obviously, this is set up for uh, PLA right now. And with PLA, we're not going to be using the uh, cooling fan. So I'll show you uh, in a second what we're going to print, and then uh, we'll come back and see if it works out. Thanks for joining me. So this is what I'm going to print. This is the uh, Fang with a 40 millimeter fan. So it's going to have the 40 millimeter fan on top. On that, I have the 50 millimeter blower fan. Very loud. Uh, very. Uh, I mean, a lot of air that puts out. You can actually hear the air hissing over the uh, print while you're doing it. So it's very, it's cooling very quickly, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. When you take something engineered like a CR10 and start uh, screwing around with it, I don't know if that changes it, but I know I just this clicking clogging thing has been the worst thing I've done since I switched out to that that th uh, thing. It might be something I did. And um, uh, what I was going to say, in a, and having it so slow, like 40 millimeters a second, and these over here are running from 60 to 80 with uh, PLA. So we'll see how this works out. Um, also, I, on, I got on order um, the 40 millimeter fangs. I'm gonna put up, because I have the Noctua up for the, um, the heat um, hot end fan. I'm gonna put a Noctua up here. I bought a 40 millimeter by 10, the same that cools the uh, hot end that you see ex existing on there. And then I bought a 20 millimeter just in case to play back and forth to see uh, what, they, what they can do. They're 13 and $14, or 13.99 dollars and $14.99. They're very expensive for fans, but not, you know, uh, budget breaking in general. So I'm going to start this print up and uh, show that real quick. Then we'll show you the results. Thanks. Okay, a quick update. Um, I blew it at first. I accidentally used the PLA uh, profile on Simplify 3D and just used the uh, ABS uh, temperatures I was planning on using. And I heard the fan kick in, so I had to come up and stop it and restart it. And I noticed that um, I was using what I use on uh, the Prusa Mark III, which is 255 and 105. Uh, and Simplify 3D, I'm going to use theirs because of the glass bed. It probably needs a little more heat. So at 110, and we'll see at 240. And I have no clicking, like I explained earlier. Uh, and you can hear how quiet this is. Uh, the power supply fan is not on, but those are the Noctua's in there. Uh, very quiet. Maybe that's the power supply fan. It kicks in a little harder sometimes. But you can barely hear anything. It is so quiet now. And when I have the new 40mm uh, fan uh, fang printed out, uh, that will be going. That is super, super loud. Um, I'll probably put it on another video in the or no, you won't even hear it now. That thing just blows, and it, the air, I mean, you hear the air hitting the uh, build plate. So uh, that is it for now. We'll come back when this is finished, or I might come back. You never know. 
and to see how we're going and I'm checking out no warpage uh, this is a a pretty solid piece so there's nothing really flat or anything to pop up uh, anyone that's printed ABS knows that we used to have thinner pieces that are kind of flat they'll uh, pop up quite easy and this is holding quite nicely so we'll see you in a second we're back for a little quick update um, the model is looking great still still no uh, nothing coming off the build plate um, there has been no extruder clicking whatsoever all I do is hear the uh, grinding of the uh, filament going in I might have to loosen up the uh, extruder a little bit that is a McEwen 3d uh, it's designed also for using um, flexible filament that's why it's got the two uh, pieces of um, PTF tubing going through from Capricorn and you can see through here it kind of guides it through and that actually uh, goes against that z-rod so it kind of protects the filament there also uh, but that's beside the point so um, I'm thrilled with it so far um, I'm talking about the noise this is the loud as this gets that is the mean well power supply fan that is so much not so much but quieter than the uh, stock power supply that's uh, in the um, Creality 3D the Cre um, Creality 3D CR10S control box same control box as the uh, CR10 and our temperatures are holding strong um, I'm noticing with the uh, solid state relay that's uh, controlling the AC uh, heat bed the meanwhile sorry about the <laughs> kind of scared me there uh, it, uh, it, it has a fluctuation to it. You'll see it on Octoprint. Uh, the way I guess it turns on and off, the way it works is you're putting direct AC current uh, from the wall and you're attaching it to the power supply just where the, uh, the motherboard's attached to also. So you're running straight AC to the bed and then well, one part of it goes into uh, it goes to the um, solid state relay. God, this is confusing. And then the solid state relay is controlled, uh, con tr connect it to the motherboard, just like the MOSFET is for the original uh, 12 volt heat bed. So uh, the motherboard is getting the uh, thermistor reaction, then it goes to that. So it's got one more step, I guess. So I'm getting fluctuations. It's nothing crazy, so it'll drop to 109, you'll see that. And then I guess it clicks back on to allow current going back to the uh, heat bed. You go to 110. Well, go to 111. It'll max out at 112 in a second. Stop. So I don't know if that is a, a bad uh, solid, state, solid state relay. God, I can't even talk right now. Or um, that's just the way it works. Uh, if anyone has any comments on that, that would be appreciated. But that little fluctuation in the heat bed is not bad. It's not like you're running uh, 30 degrees on your... Uh, your hot end and the hot ends is dialed in at 240 you might see go down to uh, 239 once in a while that is it and I am impressed so far no obviously there is no enclosure at all my attic is doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, temperature fluctuation here if at all it's the warmest part of the house because everything heat comes up here and then I have to run um, I even keep my vents closed up here I have fans and then also over there I have uh, roof access so I can let the heat out that way but right now it's a nice uh, we're what mid spring right now so we're doing good so I'll be back uh, I think this will be the last update so unless something really major happens then we'll see what this thing looks like when it's finished and then uh, there'll be a bonus at the end of the video I'm doing a time lapse I have the uh, Logitech uh, C270 set up and focus in on this so uh, that'll be fun for boys and girls to watch Thanks for joining. And I'm back bugging you once again before we complete this video. Um, let me sit down here. I have an appointment, so I'm not going to be able to see this thing finish it out. But I just checked uh, Octoprint. At, we're at 80 or 81% by now when I sat down. And still looking great. I was having really concerns over that fine detail in there. But it, it is doing amazing. Uh, and I believe it is a 0.16 uh, layer height. I might have to do a little bit of adjustment. You see a little bit of uh, shifting in there, but nothing terrible. Especially this is a, utili a utilitarian piece. That makes sense? Utilitarian. Oh my God, um, I'm delirious right now. Um, 
but that is it till we come back and it'll be finished and that will be it thanks for joining me. okay we're back and uh, finish up this video uh, it looks like we have a good print I haven't touched anything I looked at Octoprint five hours 57 minutes 11 seconds and estimated at six so hey it's better a little shorter than uh, longer which usually happens so we're at uh, complete uh, good temperatures I left this thing on obviously since I was gone let me see if I can take oh, wow just I didn't even really touch that that came off this this thing is magic ultra base I know people have problems with it I actually uh, talked to someone about these you have to wash them every so often with soapy water and warm water and then dry them they build up residues over time so if people have problems with them, that might be it and uh, what else happened today oh I have that new carriage on here I should go over some things um, I bought this machine uh, from tiny machines 3d um, back in December had a bad problem with a Chinese discounter when a uh, package showed up in my house with a obvious uh, it was on the bottom of a pallet of printers and the forklift went through it and they were hard to deal with but luckily uh, PayPal took care of everything and I called up uh, Chris at tiny machines 3d they're out of Texas uh, and got this to me within four days and I have not looked back at this thing but just modding it all the time is crazy I somehow got into that part of the hobby too besides just printing so this looks great um, I was worried about like I said this is gonna be replacing this I've been having hard times with um, PLA because this thing puts out a lot of air and this thing did not click once I'm getting extrusions clogs constantly and clicking and under extrusion so uh, hopefully this will cure that because it's mainly because of this fan up here I turned off this fan or unplugged it because I have really modular and it stopped clicking immediately with the uh, PLA but you don't want PLA just you know uh, without getting cooled while it's being uh, laid on top in layers so I'll have a 40 millimeter fan like this on top of this I have one of these ready to go these little I printed this off of a uh, thing I'll put this uh, on there down it's like a little it's cool little uh, honeycomb cover I've stuck a screwdriver through a fan once I was screwing around so that's why it's good to have that and so it'll be mounted on top of there and then that'll be this fan will be back here and everything will be the same I'm gonna miss uh, this uh, wire restraint so I'm gonna have to figure something to so it keeps everything from bending and wires getting broken eventually and the inside of this yeah this is solid because this is AB like I said this is ABS I'm um, bring back to here again so I take ABS filament uh, this is good price stuff off of uh, Amazon I don't know if it's the best or the worst quality but it always works for me and it's nice solid and I did this at 0.16 like I said that before layer so it's solid uh, inside obviously that I mean that's a lot of overhang but that's not bad it's gonna go in there with some wire trimmers and I don't think I worry about anything blowing out and I think a little bit of overhang under here a little roughness a little uh, sanding stick will fix that so that is my first ABS print on a CR 10 I posted a picture earlier on Facebook and on Instagram and someone questioned me about uh, the temperature in here because uh, I did those out in an enclosure that's kind of unheard of with a CR 10 but when you're running a bed with this with a silicone bed heater at 110 and it didn't fluctuate at all maybe up and down a degree like 109 to 112 and back and forth and that's because of the solid state relay I said that before it wouldn't let go and as soon as this thing gets to room temperature it starts releasing I've you've seen my previous videos I'll put this in the, uh, my Amazon affiliate thing in the bottom I did this before and I got some complaints and I've seen complaints on YouTube about it I've never had a problem with it and I have it excuse the camera work I have the uh, Prusa Mark III and my Anycubic and that Anycubic is like like I said AK47 printers it's noisy uh, but it prints a mate uh, great quality and it's very uh, dependable so far I've had some weird beeping on it and that was uh, freaking me out a little bit it was during a whole roll of uh, filament and I just uh, moved the filament sensor a little bit and never beeped again so I was looking that up going crazy on Thingiverse and there was all kinds of uh, things about taking the uh, um, printer apart and re-plugging and unplugging stuff and all kinds of things so sometimes a simple uh, little bump of something fixes something crazy so thank you for joining me uh, 
I hope this inspires people to you know start doing ABS on their CR10s and I'll see you in the next video.